Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a love reading for Capricorn. Ooh, chaos flipped out. Put it back in the deck. We'll see if it comes out again. Please let this be a good reading. Okay. Anyways, this is <laughs> this is a love reading for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Capricorn, please keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Roles can be reversed, and what that means is, is this could be something that your person's doing. This could be something that you're doing. This could be something going on around you. This could be something going on around your person. So please keep that in mind, okay? This could be something from the past, something currently happening, and if it's predictive, it could be something coming towards you. But again, free will. All right. Um, if you need or want to get a personal reading with me, my email is in the description box below. I do offer $10 off for, for first-time clients to get their first reading with me. So I do give $10 off for that, okay? All right, let's see. What's going on for love and for Capricorn? Show me Capricorn in love, please. Meditation, okay? You're meditating or you're thinking about something. You're, you're meditating on loyalty, on who's loyal to you. Or what you should be loyal to. What else, please? Yeah, you're summoning something or summoning someone. You could be, okay, you could be doing magic. Okay. Someone could have blonde hair or reddish brown hair. What else, please? You're summoning something. Show me Capricorn in love. The High Priestess of Fire. You're trying to summon a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, to come and choose you. But you guys are very different. You're med you're thinking about you guys' differences or maybe there was an argument. Why is loyalty here? Yeah, hope came out in the reverse. You don't have any hope for this person to ever be loyal to you or to choose you. This fire sign. Summoning. Why is this here for Capricorn? You feel invisible. You feel invisible to this person that you're trying to bring into your life. You have no hope for loyalty from them. Yeah, you know it's a risk. You know it's a risk being with this person. You know it's a risk. But this cycle has already completed itself or it's about to. You're trying to be in the, you know, an individual here. You, this person's got other choices. This person has other choices, okay? They have other choices. <sighs> yeah let's see you know it's a risk being with this person Capricorn it is a risk you know the Aries Leo Sagittarius Could be done with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. You guys are very different. You're thinking of things in black and white, though, with this person. You feel like you're too different? Well, uh, tell me more about Capricorn and love, please. Yeah, but you re you want to receive what you need in this relationship or this connection, but you, you don't have any hope for loyalty or, or that it will come to you. You feel like you guys are twin flames? You want stability from this person. You feel like this person is your soulmate. They, you guys complement each other really well. You could be married to this person or you want to be married to this person or you once were married to them. Soulmates again. You want them to call you. Yeah, you guys could, you guys could be in separation right now, but they have the key to your heart. This person's been a runner, but you've got a lot of passion for this person. And you realize only it's only a matter of time for the comeback. But this person's been very strategic with you, though. Okay? They're not showing you. They're, they're being strategic. Okay? They got options. But you want them to choose you. You want them to choose you. Oh, let me see. Before I get to the tarot, let's see. What else for Capricorn and love regarding this relationship? Okay. 
What else is going on for Capricorn in this relationship? You got big love for this person. This person really does love you. But right now they're or they love your money. But you you could be focusing on your money. There's a lot of communication, or they could be communicating with other people. They do have other options. What else for Capricorn in love? But you're waiting for this person. You're waiting for this person to come back around. You're waiting for them to contact you. But they're kind of giving you a cold shoulder right now. You've been divinely guided to this person, or you feel like this person will be divinely guided back to you. You're trying to make you're trying to make that happen. That's not up for you to make. That's up for spirit. Okay, that's up for the divine. Yeah, you want them to come back home. Okay. Yeah, you're looking into that, or maybe you're looking into buying a home, but you're stuck in your head right now about this person. You want them to come towards you and offer commitment, but they're wearing a mask and keeping secrets from you. Ooh. Keeping secrets from you. And it is a risk. You're risking a tower with dealing with this person. They could have blocked you, but you want them to come back in and mend things with you. But this person is kind of codependent, okay? You do wish for them back in divine timing. You feel like spirit's going to bring this person back to you. But this person was deceptive, okay? They weren't honest in how they communicate with you. They did. They were giving to other people. Okay, they were. Yep. With the clover here and the six of pentacles and the flowers, they were giving to others. Maybe you have a family with this person or you want them to be loyal to the family or you want them to come back home and, and have a family with you. This person's got other options and they're confused about what exactly they want. Okay. What else, please, for Capricorn regarding this person? You could be done with Sagittarius. You feel, you feel lucky. But you feel like your luck has gone out. You could be watching this person. Or this person could be watching you. Yeah, you're watching this person move on or move away. Possibly. You love them. You love them. You do. You want them to protect this love. This one to come out. Yeah, and cover it and protect it. There could be a third party involved here. Triangle. Alarm bells are going off. They could be going to dinner with this person. Lay out lady number two. The, your person might be in love with someone else. Okay? I gotta be honest. They might be in love with someone else. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You want this person to leave that home and be with you? You're in love with them. Let's look at your person. Ooh. And it's not too bad. It's not that bad. I thought it was going to be worse. Fire signs and water signs, man. They, they, I don't know what the hell's going on with fire signs and water signs, but if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you might want to go watch their reading. For real. Because there is some shit popping off for fire and water signs right now. Let's see. Or if you have it in your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay? Show me Capricorn's person, please. Four of Cups. They're stubborn. They're being stubborn. Show me Capricorn's person, please. Yeah, they want to end this, okay? Scorpio with a death card here. You could be done with a Scorpio. They're stubbornly um, holding on to this ending. Yeah. I feel like they want to keep it gone. But you want them back. Yep, Queen of Cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the Page of Cups. You want This person wants you to come and apologize to them for an ending. <sighs> Nine of Swords. This person is not sleeping at night. Mm -mm. They are stressed out. They're stressed out over a fight here and over wish fulfillment. This person wanted to marry you with a higher phone. They wanted to marry you. But they feel like you pulled back from them with the Four of Swords there. Let me see. Why did this end? Show me the death card. Why is this? There's a change here. Or someone's stubbornly not changing, possibly. But they do have a lot of love for you. 
they are not sleeping at night. Show me the death card. Why is the death card here? Hangman in reverse. They're, they're not really seeing things, or they're not seeing you, or seeing things from a, a right perspective here. They're 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 trying to take action. They're a very attractive person. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why is the death card here? Yes, maybe some secrets came out. Oh, this person isn't listening to their intuition right now. They could be rejecting your offer as well for an apology or reconciliation. Um, they're trying to put love into themselves. They're trying to pour love, pour love into themselves. They're trying to invest in themselves, Capricorn. Or they think that you're doing that, right? Show me Capricorn in this relationship. Show me Capricorn. Ten of Swords. Painful ending. I feel like you ended it. Or you, yeah, but it's ended, but you're waiting on this person. Show me Capricorn in this relationship. Or remember, it roles can be reversed. Show me Capricorn. Page of Swords, you're watching them though. You, you're watching to see if they get any new love offers with the, pay, the Knight of Cups there. You want to work things out with them with the Three of Pentacles here. You're holding on to them. You're holding on to them with the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. That's you. You're holding on to this person. Y'all being stubborn. Ten of Wands. This is a burden for you, though. Your solitude. You're trying to gain some type of enlightenment with the Hermit card, Virgo energy. You know? Let's see. What's going to be an outcome of this? What's an outcome of this for Capricorn? Tower. Something is blowing up. It wasn't built on a solid foundation. Scorpio, Aries. What else? What's the potential outcome of this relationship for Capricorn? There's a choice that needs to be made with the Two of Wands here about commitment for our stability. I feel like after, there, but the Tower can also talk about change. So someone here is making the decision to change, maybe offer commitment to you, or you're all going to offer commitment to them. What else for Capricorn about this oh, Ten of Cups? It's going to end well. It's going to come back together. With the Emperor here. Yep, the Emperor. It's, they're going to make that decision to come in and offer you commitment. They're coming out of confusion. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And they're going to come and offer commitment. Maybe even an apology to you. They want to reconcile with you. Yeah, with the devil. That's you. They want to reconcile with you. They want to communicate. I don't know when this is going to happen, but it's going to happen. <sighs> I feel like they're going to choose you. I feel like they're going to choose you. I do. Let's see. What guidance? What guidance do you have for Capricorns, please? What guidance? Look for a sign. Unlikely, but you need to meditate brings answers. Okay. What else, please, for Capricorn guidance, please? Romance. I'm telling you, this person's coming back. Maybe not right now, but they're coming back. Guidance, please, for Capricorn. Oh, this, these cards are hard to shuffle. You need to listen to your intuition. You know this person is coming back. They are. And the situation will improve. You know it will. It's going to. They're going to come back. Success. They're coming back. They may have had other options, but they're choosing you. Not bad. I mean, it's not bad. Let's see. Love guidance, please, for Capricorns. Any love guidance, love messages for Capricorn regarding this reading? New love. A new person stirred romantic feelings. Rem religious factors. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing. This soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, but there's codependency here. There's some form of addiction is affecting your love life. But you're calling, I'm telling you, you're meditating, you're bringing in this person, you're calling your soulmate, stay optimistic about your, your love life and let go of control issues, let the situation unfold naturally here, and with wedding, this situation involves marriage, you, you could be getting married to this person, or you're already married, and make the effort, okay, make the effort, okay, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take, romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring, you love this person, 
and they're coming back to you. They're coming back to choose you. Yep. You I feel like you waited on this person too, but they're coming back to choose you. That's good. Way better than fire signs and water signs. Let me tell you that right now. This is a good reading. Thank you for this reading, Capricorn. I love it. All right. Well, I, what can I say? It's a great reading. All right, Capricorn, this has been your reading. I hope this helps you. And uh, I love you. Until next time. Bye.